Hi everyone. So this is another list I came across on Rate Your Music. I'm actually on the uh, on this site. I've I've used it for quite a few years. It's it's a, a fan based site where the you know you re review albums and give ratings out of five and uh, probably almost daily I'm on it. So this list is by J Weber 14, and this is his top 100 rock bands of the seventies. I doubt Sparks will be on his list, but you never know. And, uh, I'm just going to go through, you know, and see which bands I like and which bands I don't really care for. And, or maybe I've never even heard. So Pink Floyd, I've heard, and yeah, I'm a big, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a big Pink Floyd fan, but I love Pink Floyd and, you know, I've got the dark side of the moon, their debut album, of course, uh, and maybe three or four others. Metal is another one of my favorites. Huge fan of Yes. I have all of their albums with John Anderson and of course the drama album. But after uh, Magnification, I stopped buying Yes albums. David Bowie, once again, huge fan. I have all of his albums. The Allman Brothers Band. I've never owned any albums by the Allman Brothers Band, but, you know, I respect their music and I like it. I am a big fan of Genesis. I have all of their albums, so we're off to a pretty good start so far. But, you know, the 70s, except, you know, the Beatles, of course, in the 60s. But overall, the 70s were, for me, the best decade of music. And uh, with regarding Genesis, I think overall I prefer the Peter Gabriel years, but there's some good albums in the Phil Collins years, too. Big fan of Led Zeppelin have all their albums. I've got, I think, four albums by Neil Young, but through the years I've had, you know, lots of vinyl and CDs that comes and goes. But uh, I, I main, I love his early stuff, of course, all, all of his classics. But I kind of, I love his Trans and Landing on Water albums that a lot of Neil Young fans <laughs> probably their least favorite. Big fan of Black Sabbath, but just the Aussie years have all of their albums. The Who, guess what? That's right. I am a fan of The the Who. I have most of their albums. I don't have their first one, My Generation. And after Keith Moon passed away, I never bought any of the later albums. Just lost interest in them. But uh, like Who's Next, Tommy... The Who Live at Leeds, and many others are classics. I don't have any Rush at the moment, but I've had Rush albums in the past. They are definitely one of the greatest bands. It's just, anytime I've bought a Rush album, I've enjoyed it, and then it would kind of just sit in my CD collection. I'd, I'd never play it for whatever reason. There are certain bands like that that, you know, th through the years, I really like but I just, when it comes to playing an album, I'll go play something else. Bruce Springsteen, I like his music. My favorite album of his is uh, Tunnel of Love. And Born to Run, of course, is great. Jethro Tull, I've got Aqualung. Probably my favorite is Minstrel in the Gallery. Great band. Caravan. I used to have a box set of Caravan, but I, once again, I like them, but I never really listened to them. So I ended up uh, selling the box set. I'm much more of a fan of Nectar for prog rock and yes, in Genesis. I don't have any Stevie Wonder, but I used to have songs in the key of life when it came out on vinyl great artist. Can, that's the only album I have by them, but I'm hoping to get more because I love 
Tago Mago double album. Very, very weird. King Crimson, I've got uh, that album there in the Court of the Crimson King and Discipline. And I think one other. I'd love to get more King Crimson. I've never had any Vander Graaff generator albums, but I've heard, like, you know, I do a Patreon channel where I, where I listen to songs and albums, and there's been some song requests for this band, and I've listened to them on Spotify too, and I really like them. Deep Purple, yep, love Deep Purple. Mainly the early years, up to uh, the Mark II band. Machine Head and everything. Joy Division, I just, I know people keep saying, oh, you got to buy Joy Division, but just no interest in them, I'm sorry. Talking Heads, I love Talking Heads. My favorite album is Fear of Music. Not a fan of Steely Dan. They're, you know, they're, the music is really good. They just, it just doesn't interest me. It's kind of similar to the Eagles. Big fan of Frank Zappa. I probably have maybe 30 of his albums, 35. About half of his discography or less. Hot Rats is one of my favorites. Elvis Costello. I love Elvis Costello. I have maybe, I think, close to 20 of his albums. Not a fan of The Grateful Dead. Sorry, Glenn Kellaway from The Basement. Craftwork. I love Craftwork. I've got that album and uh, Radioactivity and uh, Autobahn, which is my favorite. The Stooges, I have their first two albums that were gifted to me. Thank you. They're good. Not really a fan of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Brian Eno's interesting, but I've never owned any of his solo albums. As you can see, I love The Clash. Got their big box set. Yep. My favorite album of theirs is actually Sandinista. Sly and the Family Stone, I've got their a double CD of their greatest hits. They are awesome. Never got into Rainbow. George Harrison, I've got All Things Must Pass and 33 and a Third. Wouldn't mind having more of his solo albums, of course. I had them on by some of them. The Rolling Stones, I love the Rolling Stones. I have maybe 15 of their albums. My favorite is the one pictured, Sticky Fingers. UFO, not really a big fan, although Lights Out is great, that album. Santana, I like their first three albums. Super Tramp, I love Crime of the Century. I have that one. Roxy Music, I love their debut. Soft Machine, I never bought. Camel, never bought any Camel albums, but I've heard a bit of them. Queen, big fan of Queen. I have all of their studio albums with Freddie Mercury. I don't see any sparks yet. Leonard Skinner, never got into them. Boom, Dylan. Yeah, I only have two of his albums, his latest and Slow Train Coming which is my favorite Bob Dylan album. John Lennon, I love John Lennon, of course. I have all of his albums. Television, I have that album on vinyl back in the day. General Giant, I liked Rehand. I had that on vinyl. Robert Wyatt, that would be an interesting album to have. Rock Bottom, I've heard it. I liked it. Patti Smith, I have all of her Early albums, the first five. Easter is my favorite. Funkadelic, I've, I've heard it, but I've never owned any Funkadelic albums. T-Rex, I have The Slider, which is my favorite T-Rex album. Judas Priest, never really got into. Nick Drake, I did a album on Patreon. I did a full album Listen to, I believe... It was his second album, and I really enjoyed it. It was good. 
I have Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young's Deja Vu and, of course, Crosby, Stills & Nash, the debut album. Great stuff. Uriah Heep, I have Demons and Wizards and The Magician's Birthday. I'd like to get some more early Uriah Heep. I'm a big fan of Paul Weller, and I need to get the jam on CD at some point. Uh... Never even heard of them. I'm sorry. Van Morrison, I have Astral Weeks, one of the great albums. Nope. Gene Clark, I love that album. No other. I'd like to get more of his solo albums. Never got into the Buzzcocks. Roy Gallagher is great, but I've, I've, I did own his, when he was in the band Taste, the first album, way, way back in the 70s, and it was great. No. Blue Easter Cult. I'm a big Blue Easter Cult fan. Have all of their albums except their latest one. Which I know isn't really, you know, like new re recording, older stuff. So I'm not in a big rush to buy it, but I will. I like the cars. They're okay. The band. I love the band. My favorite is Cahoots. I have their first five albums. Tom Waits. I've never bought a Tom Waits album, but I like them. Big Star. I enjoyed the documentary, but never bought any of their albums. Focus is great. I've got the big box set on Focus that was gifted to me. Thank you. PFM. I've heard them. I had the album on vinyl. Uh, PFM Live. It was really good. Derek and the Dominoes. I... Just not a fan. of. I love Blind Faith with uh, Eric Clapton, but never really got into Derek and the Dominoes. Sid Barrett's great, but I've never had any of his solo albums. Hawkwind, I've got two of their studio albums and Space Ritual, their live album. I love Paul McCartney. I'm actually on my Canadian Stuff Muffin channel. I do have two channels in case you think all I do are these lists. Today I'm ranking Paul McCartney's closing songs on all of his solo albums. So there's 26 songs in total. So stay tuned for that, unless it's already posted. Never really got into Thin Lizzy, Mike Oldfield, Lou Reed, big Lou Reed fan, have all of his albums. Cheap Trick, I love their debut album especially. Nectar, big fan of Nectar, uh, especially in the last year. Have I need to get more of their albums, but I have Remember the Future, Down to Earth, Sounds Like This, and a couple more. Renaissance, I've heard. They're good. John Marden, I have, I've heard of him, but I haven't heard his music. Iggy Pop, never... I, I do have his, like, a Greatest Hits compilation, which I like. Fleetwood Mac, I used to have, uh, I loved Tusk, is my favorite. Just need to get them on CD again. And, of course, Rumors is great. Alice Cooper, I love the Alice Cooper band, yes. Not really crazy about his solo career, but the band years I love. Scorpions never got into them. Traffic is great. I was gifted some traffic CDs, ELO. Yeah, you know, through the years you buy some box sets and then you end up selling them and regretting it later. I had the ELO box set of all of their albums and I regret selling it. But I do have ELO 2 and El Dorado, which are my two favorite ELO albums. Blondie is great. Parallel Lines I used to have on vinyl. Ramones, I have their first three albums. Love the Ramones. Never got into Faust. Elvis Presley is great, of course. Don't have any of his albums at the moment. But I think he was the greatest live performer ever. Uh, don't have any Tom Petty at the moment, but I really respect him. I don't think he ever, all the songs I've heard have been great. B-52, 
Bee Gees. I have their greatest hits, double CD. I even love their dance, you know, the disco era. I used to have Kansas back on, on vinyl back in the day, but never really got into them. I used to like Billy Joel. used to have him on vinyl. <laughs> Not anymore, though. Dire Straits. My favorite Dire Straits album is Brothers in Arms, and my favorite song, too. Never got into Jim Croce, but he's, of course, of course was a great talent. I love early ACDC. My favorite album of theirs is uh, the one with the whole lot of Rosie on it. I can't think of the title at the moment. Elton John. I don't have any Elton John at the moment, but I, you know, through the years I have had vinyl and CD. Just great talent, though, but just never listened to him very much when I did have them in my collection. Chicago. I like the first two or three albums of theirs and kiss i have their debut album and that's about it <laughs> and of course no spark showed up as i figured but yeah who's missing from this list from the 70s and i'd let me know who are some of your favorite artists that were in this list thank you for watching have a great day bye